Hi, everybody. I'm Olivia Scott, the creator of Freedom at the Mat, and I am grateful and blessed to be here with you this morning at the Essence Wellness House. So the Freedom at the Mat movement is really about making space for women, especially busy women, to pause and prioritize their self-care. Whenever you see a mat, that is your visual prompt to prioritize you. So this morning, I invite you for the next nine and a half minutes to roll out your mat. If you don't have a mat, go ahead and use a towel. Or if you don't even feel like getting on the ground, you can still do this practice from where you are seated. So today we're going to talk about the notion that we are blessed women. A lot of times we live our lives and we do a lot of complaining and we're frustrated about this and that, but I want us today to acknowledge that each of us are living blessed lives. There are probably some things that we want in our lives that we don't have just yet, but in this moment and space, we are blessed. So with Freedom at the Mat, we always try to get in a reading, Then we do a little bit of intention setting, a little bit of movement and mindfulness, and we end with an affirmation. So I'm gonna read today from one of my favorites, Marianne Williamson, A Year in Miracles. And this is what she has to say. I needn't prove anything to anyone, for I am blessed as a child of God. And I want to pause there just for a moment and ask you to acknowledge that each and every one of us are children of God, which means that we were born in purpose, on purpose, and with a purpose. That our very being is a blessing to this earth. You may be questioning if you have value, if you have worth. You may be comparing yourself to someone else, but the reality is you actually have purpose. She goes on to say, I needn't compensate for any lack in myself, for there is no lack in a child of God. I am whole and complete as a spiritual being. I needn't do anything to augment what is already perfect. You, your being, you're perfect. I, my being, I am perfect. For years I've struggled with my imperfections, but I've grown into the notion that I can definitely work to better myself but my core being is one that is perfect as it is. She goes on to say, in any moment when I puff myself up, I appear less radiant. In any moment when I am defenseless and humble, I am radiant with God's love and power. Today, I will be, I choose to be, defenseless and safe in the arms of God. And so what I want you to do right now is just connect with your breath. A lot of times we hear the word yoga and many of us get afraid. I don't wanna do yoga, you think the physical part, but yoga is a word that simply means the union of the body, the mind, and the spirit. So right now, I invite you to bring some consciousness to your body. If you're seated on the ground or in a chair, spine is erect, abs contracted, it's an active posture. Take those palms, gently let them rest on your knees or your thighs, face upwards, and go ahead and close your eyes or find a space in front of you that's unmoving and just connect to your breath. 
A lot of times we are so busy running around, chasing life, chasing our dreams, chasing our children, chasing the prize, chasing the gram, that we don't pause to breathe. So just go ahead and inhale and exhale. Very simply, inhale and exhale. As you are inhaling and exhaling, I want you to connect with why you are blessed. Think on one reason, I know you have plenty, but one reason why you know that you are blessed. Cement that in your mind, in your spirit, in your soul and extend those arms out beside you. Nothing fancy, arms out into a T, eyes still closed. Simply began to rotate those arms very, very gently, one direction and the other. Go ahead and turn those palms face upwards, eyes open or closed, whatever you're more comfortable with. Inhale, arms lift over your head. Unhunch those shoulders, draw those shoulder blades back and down your spine. Hands in a prayer posture over your head. I invite you to go ahead and close those eyes as you bring those prayer hands to your heart center. Right now, your chin is, is parallel to the ground. Your neck is neutral. Go ahead, stretch the back of your neck by bringing your chin to your chest. Go ahead and relax those elbows by your side and set an intention for your day. Go ahead, if you like, to set an intention for your life. If there's something that you need to lean into, a blessing, a gift, a talent, lean into it. Choose to acknowledge the blessing of your perfection and your being today. Go ahead and release the prayer posture, palms facing upwards. And I invite you to do one additional thing. Freedom at the mat is about releasing something at the mat. If there is something that you want to leave behind today at the mat, perhaps there is something that's been blocking you fully realizing the blessing that you have. There may be a gift that you have that you're not using. You may be comparing yourself to someone else. You may not have the confidence, but I invite you today to create space for yourself and to trust that you are worthy because you are perfect. You are worthy for your gift to be seen. You don't have to hide your gift anymore. You validate yourself today. Acknowledge your perfection. And our affirmation for today is I am blessed because I am a child of God. May God be with you. Namaste.